This week, Google has finally started rolling out some theft protection features that were announced all the way back in May of this year. These features are being released to anyone who has Android 10 or higher, although some aspects will be restricted to Android 15 and up. One of the new features making its way to the majority of Android phones and tablets is called theft protection. And today, I can show you how to enable this feature while also discussing why you would want to enable it in the first place. To begin, we need to launch the settings application and then do a search at the top for theft. If this feature has been rolled out to you, then you should see a theft protection result in the field here. Now, I'm reading that this is being made available to people with an update to Google Play services. So if you do not see this on your device yet, you may be able to gain access to it quicker by manually sideloading the new update. If you're not into that though, then you just want to wait a week or two until Google completes this rollout. Now, once you're on this page, you can see that there will be two toggles available to you. The first is for theft detection lock, and it works just as the demo animation shows at the top. If Android believes someone has stolen your phone while you are actively using it, and then that thief runs off with your device, then the theft detection feature will kick in and it will automatically lock your smartphone. So when this feature is enabled, Android will monitor the motion sensors that are built into smartphones these days and use that to check for those types of actions. So you can see, if theft detection lock detects that your phone was taken from you, your device's screen will lock automatically to prevent that person from accessing your personal data. This feature uses your device's motion sensors and Wi-Fi and smart device connections to try and detect if someone has abruptly taken the phone from you and has started to run away. There's also another toggle here that you'll likely also want to enable. It's labeled Offline Device Lock, and when this is enabled, it will lock your display when your device goes offline. This can be important since many thieves will put your smartphone into a box or bag that blocks all cellular connectivity. This is done in an attempt to prevent the phone from being tracked, and when this is enabled, the phone will lock if it detects that your device has gone offline so that your data is kept safe. Both of these features are disabled by default right now, so you'll need to come to this settings page and manually enable them if you want this added protection. Here, you'll also find shortcuts to the remote lock feature, which is something I did a video on yesterday, and I highly recommend everyone check that one out if you missed it. I'll be sure to include a link to that guide in the video description below if you want to learn more about it. There's also a shortcut to the find my device feature as well. And this one is enabled by default, while the other three are disabled, but it's nice to have quick access to them since they are so closely related. I think most people will want to enable these features just to be safe, and it's better to enable them right now instead of waiting until you're out in public, since you never know what will happen and it's better to be prepared ahead of time but I'm curious to see how slow Google is taking to roll out these features. I have this theft protection option available on my Pixel 8 here, as well as my Galaxy S23, 
However, it has not been pushed to my daily driver yet. So let me know down in the comment section below if you have this theft detection lock feature. And please remember to like this video while also subscribing to the channel for more tips about new Android features like this.